This video is to demonstrate one of the functions of the Pulsatron 5 function valve. Uh, you will want to use this video if you have a system which the solution does not seem to be going down in the solution tank and the pump uh, doesn't appear to be uh, pumping. There are a number of reasons for the pump not to inject solution but the most common is the fact that it is air bound. <clears throat> this is going to demonstrate how you would remove that air and it would be the first thing that you would attempt before trying to do any other uh, remediation uh, methods in order to solve your problem. Uh, in order to uh, demonstrate this, I'm going to move the valve around, unlike what it will move as it is attached to the pump, only so you can see how it works. Uh, to begin with, what we have is the solution feed pump. I'm looking at the head end of the pump. The bottom right here is for the suction line, which actually goes in the solution tank. This is a discharge line that is for used for bleeding air, and this line goes back in the solution tank and this is the discharge line which actually sends the solution into your uh, water system. And the valve uh, gets its five function values uh, name from all the different things the valve can do which if you look at the back of the valve you can see all of these different functions. The function we're particularly in, interested in is pump head air bleed which you can see is number four and is shown in this frame right here as the position of the valves. So I'm going to turn it back around again and you see both valves, the indicator knob for the valve for its position is to the left. What we need to do is move them to the right in order to do the air bleed. But before you do that, you will want to start water running and make sure that the solution pump does come on and is pulsing. You should be able to hear it. On the back of the pump, uh, there is a light that indicates each time the uh, pump pulses. So with the pump pulsing, uh, what you're going to do, first thing you're going to do is you're going to feel this upper line to see if you can feel any pulsing in that line, which you should feel if it is in fact injecting liquid. If you don't feel any pulse, then what you're going to do is proceed with the air bleed. To proceed with the air bleed, what you're going to do is turn each knob so that the indicator on the knob is on the right, and then what you'll see while the pump is running, you'll see air being discharged along with water out this line, which will go back in the solution tank. You want to continue that purging of the air until you don't see any more air. Then all you'll need to do is to turn these knobs back and making sure the pump's running again. You need to check up here to see if you can feel any pulse. If you can't, then you're going to want to try to bleed at least one more time. Because sometimes there's air trapped where you can't see it in the pump head and just a small amount will cause the pump not to pump. Continue to run the pump. See if you can see any more air come out of this discharge line right here. And as soon as you see that, return both knobs to the pumping position, which is back to the left. And you will feel, as you move it, you'll feel a little, there's a little spring in there. As a matter of fact, you can see it spring back once it gets beyond the uh, center point. Uh, leave it like that. Recheck to see if you've got pulsing. If you don't have pulsing, then more than likely you have to uh, go on to some other possible reasons for the pump not to be pumping. The next most common reason for the pump not to pump is that in each of these connections right here there are check valves which will need to be cleaning which that process gets taken up into another in another video.